Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vebel Vintage Designs. Today is the day that I decided to wrap all of my Christmas gifts. However, I realized that I gave away all of my gift tags, so I needed to make some more. I decided I would take one hour and create some very simple gift tags that would be cute, but didn't take a lot of time. So uh, today I'm working with very inexpensive watercolor paper. This is Canson watercolor paper and I'll be using my alcohol ink dry palette, some alcohol ink markers, um, an acrylic paint pen, and some fine liners. I also have a single hole punch, um, but you can use a, a larger one, whatever you have available to you. Even the tip of a scissor, very carefully, you can poke a hole in the tags. You'll also need a scissor and a little bit of alcohol in a little container. So you can see here that I'm drawing this grid because I want to create a full sheet of gift tags and I want this to be very quick. So you can see here I have my color chart and I'm choosing the colors that I'm going to use. The first row of gift tags will be holly. So I'm using the color crimson and poppy field and a very inexpensive paintbrush to create the little berries. If you're a watercolor artist, do not use your watercolor brushes for alcohol ink because it will ruin them. Just use some very inexpensive disposable brushes. So you can see that when you use watercolor paper and alcohol ink, the ink does not spread. It gets absorbed by the paper and it's very simple. I love using watercolor paper and alcohol ink. So you can see here how simple this is. I'm using now a green. I think I used the color botanical, lemonade, and willow. I used a combination of colors just to um, create a little depth. But you can see that I'm just using the tip of the brush and I'm making a couple of little lines and making it look like a holly leaf. Really simple and really quick. Now this video is sped up, but the whole process took me about an hour or less. So for the next row, I decided to do some snowflakes. And I first tried using my alcohol ink dry palette and a very small brush. But I quickly noticed that I wasn't able to get the detail in the snowflakes that I wanted. So you can see this is my first attempt and I made the snowflake a little bit too small. So when I added my detail, which was very simple, just a couple of dots and lines, um, it blended too together too much. My paintbrush was not small enough. And because I wanted to keep this simple and quick, I thought, okay, let me make a larger snowflake. So you can see this one is a little bit larger and I tried to use a lighter touch to create the detail on the snowflake. And this one did turn out better but then I decided to go get my fine liners and my alcohol ink pens or markers and that made the process a lot faster. So here I have a blue fine liner and you can see this is much better. You can see the detail and it was much faster. Now I'm using a fine liner to add a little detail in those holly leaves. I'm drawing a few little veins in each of the leaves and that turned out really cute. All right, so I finished my snowflakes and for the next row I decided to do the string of Christmas lights because that is one of my favorites. So I have a green marker here and I'm drawing a swirly line with a little loop in it. And now I have some alcohol ink markers 
and these have a brush tip so with two strokes of the brush tip I created each little light bulb really fast very simple but adorable then I grabbed the same fine liner that I used to create the string and I drew a few little squiggly lines to attach each of the light bulbs to the string. I also took a black fine liner and created a little highlight in each of the bulbs. And for my next row, I decided to make a little gift box. So I used an alcohol ink marker to draw a little square. I filled it in. And then I used a dark green fine liner to outline each of the boxes. I drew a little ribbon and on the top I drew a few little loops to make it look like a bow. Again, really simple, but really cute. Once I was finished drawing all my little gift tags, I used this wonderful paper cutter that I bought on Amazon. I think it was like 10 or $12, but oh my God, it makes life so much easier. And I cut out all my little gift tags. Once I cut them all out, I used my single hole punch on each of the tags. If you don't have a single one, you can get one of these that is a triple hole punch at like a Dollar Tree, and you can use that as well. Now that I've cut out all my little gift tags, I've punched the holes in each one. I am going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use a scissor to cut the corners off the top of each of the tags. I'm not concerned whether they're perfectly even. I tried to get them as even as I could. And now I'm going to use a blue alcohol ink marker to outline the ones with the snowflakes. For the ones with the gift tags, I mean with the gift box, I'm using a green alcohol ink marker to create a cute little green border. Of course, you don't have to do this. I just like the way it looks. I think it makes them look a little bit more special. Here I'm using an acrylic paint pen to create a border around the ones with the little Christmas lights. And for the one with the holly, I decided to use a red alcohol ink marker to create a little border. I think these turned out really well. I was very happy with them. Now you can see here I wasn't happy with the shade of blue that I used on the first one so I attempted to use a different shade of blue and um, that one matched a little bit better but you can see later on in the uh, picture at the end of the video that what I ended up going with was little dots using the same fine liner to create a border around the gift tags. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the description box for links to the products used. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.